You know, the last time I was on the TechCrunch stage, I was with my previous startup called Mindverse AI. I introduced, um, sorry, yeah. I introduced MindOS, an AI agent marketplace with collaborative canvas and workflow. If that rings a bell, um, we launched this product more than a year before GPT Store was born. My co-founder back then was an amazing sci AI scientist. Guess which one is he? I remember I was pitching investors about AGI when nobody knew what it was. We also shared the same vision of the world, where agents would replace SaaS and apps, and it will be supported by an operating system called MindOS. In fact, this vision, the name MindOS, came out of a meditation session that we did together. We felt like a dream team. We thought that we built things together forever. But as the market swung, we no longer had enough time to speak the market place fly, fly wheel. Instead, we needed to pivot. We tried to persuade each other. One said, but we made this decision a long time ago. The other said, yeah, but the circumstance has changed, so the logic n never applies. One quoted customer feedback. The other pointed at some very first mission that we wrote on the wall. Neither of us was able to convince the other. Eventually, I left. We're still friends who support each other, but no longer co-founders. And it got me thinking, how many great ideas die, not because the market rejects them, but because the team behind them fractures. Too many. Bias and ego. Broken partnerships. Lost knowledge. These have killed as many startups as any market force. Imagine this man who carves tiny metal letters in the 1400s. The machine he builds, the printing press, ignites revolution. It topples monarchies, births universities, and spreads human rights. His name was Johann Gutenberg. But he trusted a wealthy man called Fust. And when the partnership soured, Fust sued him, took his job, took his methods. The tiny, subtle techniques, the ink chemistry, the printing type mode, were lost or degraded. As a result, the printing was slower, cruder, less precise. Imagine if we hadn't lost Gutenberg's brilliance. The Enlightenment might have arrived a century earlier. Now, fast forward to New York, 1900s. The man walking alone on the street, feeding pigeons, dreaming of power flowing through the air, Nikola Tesla. He built coils that lit bulbs wirelessly, sketched global energy towers. But free energy scared investors. They vanished. And he died broke, alone in a hotel, without any co-founder or successor by his side. Till today, some of his notes are classified. Others just disappeared. What if we had preserved Tesla's vision? Maybe we might have already entered the age of abundance, a world running on clean energy, and we lost it to silence. Because when genius dies un undocumented, humanity pays the bill. Now, consider Bell Labs, the place that gave us the transistor, the laser, Unix, the Internet's DNA. And when AT&T was broken up, that little culture shattered, the flow of idea fractured, and the memory scattered. What if Bell Labs had endured 
maybe AI would have come a century, a, a decade earlier. So I ask you, my fellow entrepreneurs, how many revolutions are stuck in someone's head or lost in some documents? How much institutional knowledge leaves with a departing co-founder or a resigned employee? How much more can we achieve if we, if every piece of information, every message, every decision, is remembered, organized, connected, enhanced, and instantly searchable and actionable? You know, since I departed from my last startup, I've been thinking about a better way, a better future for founders like you and me. And that's the vision behind Tenka. Meet Tenka, the product I've been building since then. At its core, Tenka is your knowledge base, reborn as a messenger. Well, think of it as Slack plus Glean plus agents for startups. Tenka takes every conversation, every email, every document, and weaves them into a living, breathing memory graph. It's your team's second brain. And what, you, what can you do with the second brain? First, of course, better search. Whether it's marketing budget spent last year, or some ideas that you shared in Slack channels, or some very specific information buried in some PDF somewhere, Tenka finds it instantly. Second, better conversations. You can reply to emails, Slack messages, WhatsApp, Telegram, all from Tenka, and you can ask AI to reply to them. And what's more, the AI will mirror your tone. And what's more, it has your work memory across all platforms. So whether it's a client email asking for pricing, or an investor asking to schedule a meeting, or some teammates asking for decisions, Tenka retrieves the right contexts and replies accurately. And you always have full control. You can edit messages before sending, or you can just speak and let Tenka draft a well-crafted text reply for you. So just imagine yourself walking to the office in the morning with a coffee in your hand, and by the time you sit down by your desk, your inbox is already cleared. Isn't that great? But that's not all. The most important thing is faster action. I know, AI taking action is no longer a surprise, but you still have to prompt engineer, don't you? And now here's the difference. With Tenka, because it has all your work memory, shared memory turns agents into real teammates. Let's take website as an example. Tenka knows your organization from those chats, documents, whatever. And in just one click, it creates the website for you. And because it's so easy to create a website, you can actually create different landing pages for different clients to increase your conversion rate. Similarly, you can build pitch decks for investors and clients. And you can also make product UIs, PRDs with your team chats or some client email feedbacks. So now, this will, make your, this will make your product manager's life way much easier. Oh, and here's my favorite thing. Startups grow fast, which is a great problem to have. But people come and go. And as founders, we really wish that knowledge can just be transferred from one employee to another in a snap of the fingers. And guess what? Tenka now makes it possible. Memory transfer on board with AI. Now you can hire contractors, freelancers, interns, without having to spend days briefing them the contexts. And these are still not everything that we've got. We've got more, more actions. And soon enough, there will be AI recommendation on the decisions and more and more. So from information to decision to actions, shared memory will turn the agents into real teammates.
inside your business messenger. Now, you might ask, why business messenger? Well, because messengers are actually a place that we spend a lot of time on every day, and more importantly, it is where most information turns into decisions. Yet, no one has transformed scattered messages into structured memory. Why? Well, because the multi-user messages are actually most mostly scattered and messy. Think about it: like you and your teammates chatting about whether to launch Plan A or Plan B to a VIP client, and all of a sudden, this message comes in: burger or pizza for lunch. So you see, there's chit chat, off-topic jumps, implicit context, out-of-order replies. It's hard to filter the useful message out of the massive chats. Not to mention connecting the dots or inferring time sequence. Tenka is the first mover to solve this problem, thanks to our neuroscientists and AI engineers who bring decades of research experience into this product. So, memory defines one's identity. Collective memory defines a team's identity. With memory, AI stops being a tool and starts being a real co-founder. With memory, your company's legend gets preserved, uplifted, and transformed. The next decade will reward those who build alongside AI, not just with it. The Stanford professor Jeremy Atley wrote about how top performers use AI not as tools but as collaborators. They coach it, ask it questions, and co-create. And we're already seeing more and more teams across all industries from different countries co-creating with AI. At age 68 and 76, Harry Brasbrook and his co-founder Jan Zaka are leading a New York-based global publishing house, powered by just two full-time co-founders and their two, AI,、uh, their two assistants. And with the help of Tanka, they connect the decentralized authors network, transform collective content. Into a living memory that powers smart teamwork. At the National University of Singapore, professors now use Tanka to track student progress, discover new papers, and map new directions for future research. As Professor Bandring observed, the time and funding previously spent on manual research tracking can now be redirected towards deeper innovation. And. Daniel's UK wealth consultancy firm, with only seven staffs, was able to scale up their client service with AI wraps and Tanka's memory graph. And this is just a small sample of Tanka's clients who are using AI to grow. The world is changing faster than we thought, and this change will take us to way wilder places than we ever imagined. It doesn't only change how work is done. But also how teams are formed. In just ten years, how we work and build teams will be unrecognizable. To paraphrase Sequoia, Sequoia partner Constantin Bula, AI is no longer a tool; it's an autonomous economic agent. Companies will shift from departments to dynamic task networks. And in fact, Tanka already runs ourselves in this way. Individuals won't just execute; they'll orchestrate AI collaborators. And one-person unicorns won't be fantasy. But I want to be even bolder. The future of teams may have just one solo founder, a few freelancers, and 50 AIs, like in this chart. No middle managers. Language barriers gone. Everything translated in real time automatically. So collaborating with the best talent across the world is no longer a dream. Fractional work becomes the norm. Even fractional CXOs. A CFO might support five startups at once with one human brain and five AI agents, each agent working for one company, preserving that company's knowledge. 
And what the CFO does is to lend his brain and expertise and creativity to each AI. In fact, you may find most jobs in the future will be AI trainers. Accountants train their accounting agents. Lawyers train legal apprentices. And CTOs train AI engineers. Once trained, each agent will work for many companies simultaneously. And there will be even be companies formed completely by AI, even AI CEOs. Of course, shareholders will be human. And the future Gutenberg, Tesla, Bell Labs will never lose their genius to lost memories anymore. The founder of the future isn't just smart, fast, or creative. They are augmented. And you, my brilliant fellow founders, you win not by competing against AI, but by making the best of being human. You win by building with purpose. With AI co-founder, we bring ideas to life faster, with less burnout, and more room for what only humans can do. Connection, empathy, and love. Let's build the next era together. Let Tanka be your AI co-founder. Thank you.